Hello, my name is Gary, and today I'm gonna take this block of wood and make this chain out of it. And I've been doing this for so long, this is how it's done. project to make this piece of wood into a chain is, first of all, my pencil, a tape measure, a coping saw or fret saw, a carving knife, and a drill with a drill bit. Well, the first thing we have to do is cut our length, and we have determined that these lengths are going to be three inches long. So we have to have a multiple of three to make this the right length, so that all our lengths will equal a three inch multiple. So we've determined that that's gonna be 21 inches. Three times seven, 21. So here we go. The next step is to determine what the thickness of our block is. And this block is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Now we wanna cut that into thirds. So a third of two and a quarter is 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. You will have a notch here and a notch here, three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch, and that would be cut out. And we do that on all four corners, like so. So we have this set up for three quarters of an inch. The blade is three quarter off the table and three quarters off the edge of the fence to this side of the blade. Now that we have this cut out, same way on the other side, now we're ready to lay this piece out and to make our links. Now on this particular carving example, we're gonna put a hook on each end. So we take the four and a half inches off this end, the four and a half inches off this end, that leaves us 12 inches in the center that we're gonna make these links, these individual links, three inches a piece. And notice as I set this up here, how one is in this plane on this end, but the other one is on the opposite plane. So for the number of links that we have in this particular chain, these have to be opposite. So I'm gonna mark four and a half inches here and four and a half inches here. So I'm just gonna make that line go all the way around. So we know that this is the hook on this end, and I'm gonna mark this one the same way the next step then is to put our individual links in here. And as you recall, we made three inch links. So all we have to do really is mark three inches from this point. So three, 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 and three. So this will be a link, this will be a link, this will be a link, this will be a link. And then now we have to do the opposite side. Now when we start to lay out the opposite side links, we have to go, we have to start in the center of this link. Uh, you can see that this link right here would be the end of this link here. This link here is on this plane. This link here is the top of this plane. So now I just have to mark every three inches once again. Now I'm gonna transfer those lines all the way around just like we did on the other one. So I'm gonna draw this hook right here on this horizontal piece. See that right there? So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that. I'm gonna kinda draw the bottom of the link right here. And here you can see the opposite end hook. Here's the hook itself, and here's where the links come together. So now we got those in the right position. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. So this will all get cut out in here. This would all get cut out in here. So there, you can see the hook. Here's the hook on it. it, comes around like this. And then the first link ties into the hook right there. So now it's just a matter of taking <clears throat> the opposite plane and hooking it in just like we did to this link with the hook. And then tying it in about a half inch here as well. And we do the same thing on the opposite side. Top of the link, bottom of the link, and our 
half inch cut out on the inside of the link. So now there's our second link. So what I've done is I've taken time to draw all the hooks, both hooks on each end and all the links. So now I know where to start to make my cuts. So the first cut I'm gonna make is, um, I'm gonna cut around where the hook is, both sides of that so you get to freeze up to see this flat surface of the hook. Now, I'm gonna, you see that line right there? That's the line that I'm gonna to try to follow. Straight across, start out with, slight angle, going down that line to that center point. I used it just a common drill here. This is about a 3 16 inch drill bit. So I'm gonna drill down into those cutout spaces where the link's gonna be. Get in there and maneuver my drill back and forth, something like this. You know, if you had a Dremel tool, that would work really well as well. So it <laughs> doesn't matter exactly what you use, as long as you get that wood that's not supposed to be there out of the way. <clears throat> so you see here, I've cut around this uh, bottom part of the hook to go into the first link. And uh, you can see right here where I've went around that first link and in between the hook and the third link, or the second link of the chain, and now I'm gonna get inside this area right here with my drill bit, and I'm gonna go down quite a, like an angle, and I'm gonna go from this side, this side, this side, and this side, and then keep working at it, and then that'll take all that material out between the, the hook and the link, just like we did here. Broke away from the first link, and you can see how that looks right there. And to kind of give you a progression, so this, you know, we don't want to spend all day doing this, so I'm, I'm gonna show you a progression of how it would look. Then this one's all freed up, and you can see here where I've drilled holes again for the break of the next link, and so on and so forth. It's just the same progression, just what I showed you here is done for every successive link. And then you just come up with, you know, a bunch of links and it continues like this and you know here's the uh, holes all drilled out on this one but since this video uh, is going to be kind of long I think I'm going to do it the way that I taught you the first time it's just I'm going to take this and do it the old-fashioned way and just finish it out real quick so if you like to get into woodworking this is a good beginner project uh, it just takes a few simple tools, it takes a lot of patience, but it will be a stepping stone to even greater things that you'll do in your future, I'm sure. We have a kit available on our website. Uh, check the link below, and uh, we thank you for watching.